So, let's do a challenge in Mexico to start us off. Let me hit play here. We'll give ourselves a five minute timer. I've been doing lots of challenges recently with uh, three minute or four minute timers. So I'm kind of interested in maybe trying some of those because I, I'm needing to get used to that different time set. I kind of have my, that timer built in of how much time I should spend doing things. Uh, with a five minute timer and you're a minute or two short, I'm kind of like, oh no, I'm I can run out of time or not quite used to it. So maybe we should try some of that. But anyway, let's just jump right in to a Mexican challenge. Oh boy, we start off in a little interesting park here. Hmm. Definitely not major city Mexico, I think at least. No, I'm not too sure. I know northern Mexico is very desert compared to southern Mexico. Um, find a paved road, so that's at least a little bit good. A little nice. Um, yeah, what else do I know? I mean, distinguished Mexico. If you're really tropical, you're probably in the Yucatan Peninsula. Uh, if you're really desert, you're probably right along the American border. I love how these sidewalks are very nice with like these handicap ramps and then it's just dirt everywhere else. This must be a national road or something. Are we on top of the truck? We we're just going out of the way, other direction. Um, for how well this is kept up, either that or the, the state or the city have done kind of an uneven job with the, uh, here we go, A, 250 meters, oh, we have a road sign, perfect. Cancun is not too far away, Mexico 307, so we are in the southern part, which it, this is sort of more tropically kind of than a desert, I guess. So that does help. So we're on 307. Somewhere. What's the other direction? If we go north to Cancun, look, I know what Cancun is, or Chetumai is kind of south, I guess. So we found 307. We're not too far from that. But where is... Chuten oh, Chutemal is... Oh, well, that doesn't really help us. We're either way north or way south. Um, we did have a city name. Let's see if we can find that city name. We can't be too far from it. What might, might be really beneficial is to look for a, yeah, look for this road sign. What is this? 307, that doesn't really help us. There we go. Um, Balcala and Excel. Oh, that's like right. Excel is right there. Right? Yes. Yeah, okay, okay. So that's definitely where we are. We're at this road anyways, and we went a long way. We're probably... We probably started in this town. With... Oh, let's go back to the town. We have like a town square or something. And put down the town goal. The problem is there's no real way to tell where in the town we are. Casa. I'm not sure if there's any real... Um, there's not enough indication in the town. 
which road we're on. I mean, we're in the town in a country, so we probably have four nine, given how big this town is. But, like, there's the main road. And we're a little bit off of that, so we're, like, back... We're either... See, we're either here or here. We're either on the left side or the right side. But... I'm not entirely sure which one it is. Actually, we could probably, if we face, so the road is north of us. North. We're probably right off of here somewhere. Oh, 27 meters. Yeah, we were just around the bend. Perfect. Man, really, really pays to uh, use those directional tools because um, that really helped us figure out which way. Oh, the main road is to the north, so that means we have to be to the south of it. So probably gave us a couple points, but five thousand to start off our Mexican guess um, definitely paid off that we were really close to a major road, um, which is definitely very nice. Uh, high quality, and it was pretty scenic. It's very nice, uh, kind of subtropical, tropical Mexico. And this looks like the same thing again. I don't see a lot of heavy vegetation again. I'm assuming we're south. Of course, we could always be in some weird place in the north or something. Oh, actually, we... No, we still got the tropical trees. We're following this bike. We passed them. We are in, like, the... We're in the thicket over here. I've never been to southern Mexico. I've, I've been to a few places in northern Mexico, of course, living in America. The... Northern Mexico is easily accessible. I had lots of friends who went to places like Cancun or uh, uh, Cabo San Lucas or some other places for like, you know, uh, resort resorts or summer vacations and whatnot, but I never did. I went to Europe instead. <laughs> so, um, not as frequently as they went to Mexico, but... Now my family was always kind of like, if we're going to go overseas or we're going to go to a different country, like, let's go to a different country. Let's just not go to, you know, next door. All right, let's, uh, there's so many little motorbikes out here. I'm not seeing too much this direction at all. Just more palm trees. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so really travel. So, you know, um, obviously been to Japan a few times, and Korea, and all over Europe. So, that was our thing. And of course, America is big enough, too, that you can just go and spend, you know, we lived on the West Coast, so going to the East Coast was like going farther than going to Mexico. Uh, so that was always uh, another thing, how big America is, I always... And forget that, especially living in a country as small as Japan. I mean, we're not seeing much of anything. Tropical, thick vegetation. Maybe use the map. Maybe in the Yucatan again. Um, I mean, if we had enough time, maybe we could just simply click do a major road and then see something and try to backtrack a long way on that road. But happy my internet's nice today. It's cooler day, so maybe everybody is staying uh, out rather than staying in. Um, so hot weather plus corona the COVID. Oh, there's a sign. Let's say Honduras. It shouldn't, because there's nothing close to. It looks like a map. 
And it's really annoying that I can't really read it very well. It looks like a map. Of the area. Or by a lake, maybe? I mean, there's a lot of lakes, so it's not going to be... It looks like... I have quite a few lakes down here. There's a lot of lakes in this area. Not so much on the Yucatan Peninsula, actually. Yeah, I mean, we're like way in the... We're not in the natural reserve, I don't think. So I still want to put us somewhere over here, but... Starting with a 5,000 point guess, and we're probably going to end up with a, if we're lucky, a 3,000 point guess. It evens out to about 4,000, which isn't that bad. We need to, we need to get over 20. So over 4,000 average. Oh, we found a town. Okay. Um, with 20 seconds left, are you going to tell me where you are? Nope, the detail is not high enough. This is where all the bikes were coming from, obviously, because residents close by. Small town. Probably could spend more time. Was hoping for a sign outside of the town. Oh, we were way up in the Yucatan. I should have left us further north, because actually we didn't even hit 3,000. We, we almost got only half the points we should get, which is really rough. And there is no lake. We must have either went to one of these two towns. There's no lake even in Clo- I mean, there's this, but that's about it. Which is really odd that we would see- Maybe it's even too small for Google Maps or something, but... Yeah, we were way up. I should have put us further north. That's really rough. Um, an okay location. Now this is more like northern Mexico. I love the thunderstorm. Look at that. Pretty good shot. On the. I actually want to go this way because seems like a lot of cars. USG. And I really can't read much on signs with this. If you zoom in too much. Oh, there we go. That's the sign I was looking for. No, I don't need English translation. Thank you, Google. Where'd my sign go? There it is. El Bosque. We're definitely further north. I don't think El Bosque is going to be a big enough city to see. It'd be really in interesting if we were ever in... Uh, we were ever in Baja, Baja, California, not California, Baja, Mexico. And that must just be the street sign for the other direction. Yeah, I was hoping for a road number, but we didn't get that lucky. Um, yeah, the random seeds on the country guesses really kind of, ooh, that was a road. Oh, just a, just a kilometer marker, not even a road sign. Some countries have, I think even Mexico does, has the road numbers on their signs. So it can be nice. Another city name that I just passed. Are Los Reyes. I mean, we're on a pretty decent road, but I don't think our time is spent, is well spent, uh, searching, scanning these roads anyways, so. Ah, oh, and these roads, we just keep clicking, just keep clicking. We should really turn around. Looks like there's some kind of town up here around this bend. This road is very straight for a long time. El Cascate. But again, no road numbers. 
at all. We'll go back to the start. We'll chase this Coca-Cola truck. Go this way for a minute or two, see what we find. I have a couple city names, so if I knew small Mexican cities, I might have an advantage, but... See, I really like the automatic, like the cell, the automatic, uh, is that a different sign? That's not... I don't know what that is. I don't know what a white sign means in Mexico. Um, anyway. I don't mind the, nat the like, native seeds by GeoGuessr uh, in a world map because, like, I can always tell from this, right, this is probably Mexico, um, northern Mexico, no problem. But when you already know the country, this is probably, one this might be our saving grace here. Chihuahua. That might be big enough to see. Oh, Chihuahua. Okay, so we know the state. It means we actually might spend some time. Browsing for the cities. Oh, we were further north. Oh, See, look at that. We were only a hundred and 88 kilometers away and yet we got not even 3,000 points so I thought maybe we were further north but I kind of just clicked one extra time too far south because you have to hedge your bets right I know we're in this state the state is very tall uh, do we go way north or we do go a little closer to the city and hope that we kind of you know don't screw ourselves if we're in the wrong place but in a world map, that's really good. In a Mexican map, obviously, GeoGuessr thinks the points are uh, are pretty hard to come by. Um, that's an okay location. I don't really... In there was that sign. Ooh, a very nice road. This is probably a national road, not a state road. Which means we'll be lucky because we'll get signs and exits... Uh, hopefully. We're going south. I mean, it could be a state road, but... Given the general condition of Mexican roads... And again, very desert. Very empty. North. We might even be in... Tijuana again. I can't pronounce Spanish. Again, we'll just do our, our standard routine. Click for a minute or two one direction and then rotate. That is if we don't get any good information, which we're not. Google car passed somebody there. Max 80 kilometers. Another speed limit sign. Oh, here we go, that's what we needed. Look too fast. Where'd it go? Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, I passed it. Oh, we're on Mexican War. Mexico won. Concert. Periodic concert. And. So. Mexico won. Oh, I was hoping for it. We see if we got a guess over here. It looks like we did. Um, 
mile marker, I'm sorry, kilometer marker 85. Now does the mile marker start down here or does it start... Something tells me it would start like in La Paz, but we'll find out. Uh, what is it? What's nearby? Ubener de Mexico. And we clicked for a long way too, so. I don't know why my Google Translate is popping up under. I must have highlighted something back. Oh, there we go. Mexico 1 also goes off into here. I would be really surprised if you're really close to the Mexi to the American border. We're not we haven't seen the ocean. So I don't know what else we have to go on. Mile markers. should really turn around and go north give us some clue we have a road so we can find it even a town name we can scan fast enough is when a good fast internet really pays off uh, for us here is when we know the road and we can just scan the road oh now it's gonna play tricks on me with uh, Hill. We got Tenente Guadalupe. There's Guadalupe. We're on one, we know that. Not three. Pretty sure maybe Guadalupe is a common enough name. We could be anywhere. It's such a long road. The the name really the number really doesn't even help us. Ah, oh, we were way farther south. That is so rough. That is so rough. I mean, it's a decent location, but you have no idea where along the road you are. So, I don't know. We're not even at 12,000. Oh, boy. Oh, Mexico 40. Gomez Palacio. Let's go 40. There's 400. 40. No, there's 40. Forty Gomez plus Lucio. That's that. And GPE Victoria is not too far. The turnoff word, anyways. Get some distance markers. Oh, and the picture quality just dropped. And it's playing weird tricks with my camera. There we go. So the closest town, supposedly, is Toronan. Very far away, though. Going this way, we do hit that state again, so we know... Really? It doesn't go there, does it? Well, maybe it does. I don't know.
that loot to you all. Well, there's Salutio. But that's like 437 kilometers away. Okay, let's look at the... We'll have a final round, but even with a 5,000, we're only going to get 17, so we can maybe save silver. Oh, yes. Oops, go back. Uh, Durango is close. To the south. What was the other? GEP Victoria. What is that? GEP Victoria. The lake? We know the road number, that might be oh we did have we did see the road number. Go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Oh it's 40 as oh we're on 40 D. Ah 40 D and 40. That well they cross so many times, that doesn't really help us too much. keep changing too. So this must be 40. 40 is the one running kind of east-west. We're on a road, e we're 40D and we're running east-west. They cross so many times. Ah. Oh. We're somewhere in here. I think we're I think we're here. Oh, Guadalupe Victoria Frisk. Okay, that's just That's just that. Okay. Um about 40 seconds. Camera's obviously a lot worse. Yeah, we're between we're between this city. Well, there's Torun. Yeah, we're between that city and this city where they meet. They don't meet there. They have a nice intersection here. Oh. That was correct. Oh, thank you. Thank you. At least you gave us one nice one. You were nice to us in the end. One kilometer away. I should have put us on the D, the 40D, not 40. But I wasn't confident that we were. Yeah, it's silver. Is it a no metal? I don't understand. What was that? It just turned gray. Um, let's go back to explorer mode. Okay, it is it is silver. That's weird that it just it didn't even show us anything. But man, two really good guesses, and then we found the road, but we were on the wrong end of it with no real clue where we could have been and then oh yeah the jungle which put us uh we did we i hedged our bet too far south on some stuff that really what killed us that 2600 point guess was horrible ah rough times rough times